Okay, so first, this is a test to see if my sound works. Second, I have all of my colors here. I've got you sideways, so I'm looking back and forth. I've got all of my colors here, and I went to our local paint store yesterday and um, tried to color match them based off of a digital thing that I did. So in my... Um, in Procreate, I created this because DecoArt has this option to where you can have the um, colors and I colored matched them. So I'm hoping this will work and we're going to test them out. What? We're showing a three majestic with longer, longer. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever floats your boat. I'll clean the back up. I'll yeah. We're going to go see The Chosen. I can't wait. Super excited for it. Okay, so I'm going to take off take off my sweater so it doesn't get yucky. Alright. Turn my heater because you guys you probably can't hear me now. I'm not talking at the microphone. But I'm always cold. Always. Always. And I've been tested for anemia and it's not that. So I just run cold, I guess. All right, black, I'm, you guys, so I'm going to start with um, my colors that I had color matched at Home Depot, and since they're a pain in the butt, and I can't, they're not able to share, <laughs> they're not able to share the colors with me the way that I want them to be able to share so that you guys can go get them. This is the whole reason why I want to like color match everything. So, sorry, I'm looking at all these things going, I'm wondering how I'm going to get these out of the bottles so I can put them. I mean, I guess I could, let me grab a piece of foil. Hold on. Okay. I just have to move things around. We're going to start. with the Home Depot colors. And you guys, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried to get as close as possible to the colors. Some of them look super different, so I'm not quite sure if it's gonna work out. And I might, might just between all the colors and everything that you can't find anymore and all of that kind of jazz, it's been super frustrating for me. So I'm sure it's super frustrating for you to kind of Find the colors that match the labels. So, first one, black. Just get my brush wet, wiping most of the water out of it. And literally, we're just going to create stripe. So, here's the black. And now you can see why I like sponges better. Because it leaves it super transparent and you have to do multiple coats, even with black. Okay, we'll rinse that one out. And then we're just going to put this guy down here on the floor. And get him off of my table. Here's the white. Rinse off the brush really, really, really good because black and white, hello. Okay, so here's the white. We'll rinse that off. This is the vintage white. I'm just setting them down on the floor. Because you are now on the top of my paint caddy. I'm running out of space on the top of my table to hook all the electronics that need to be hooked up to be able to talk to you guys and see you guys. And Okay, so that's the vintage white. Here's the slit sand. Oh, this is steel gray. Let's see if I can shake it up and get it off on the lid. Well, let's just pour it out like we did the black. 
My brother's calling me. Okay, Gray. I don't know if you guys can see that far away. I have it over there. Okay, so this is the gray next to, so we've got black, white, vintage white, steel gray. Oh, look at how fun. It tells me he's leaving a message. That's interesting. Let's see if I can get those. Let's put some more white and we'll get some more solid color on there. It's on MDF, not sealed or anything. So I'm sure if we were to seal it, it would definitely turn up different as well. So keep that in mind. Now my wrist is buzzing. The voicemail must be done. This is the vintage white again. I almost swiped the white and then the gray. I think the gray will be okay. All right. Now let's go. These are the ones I was kind of questioning was the way that they, the digital pictures looked for the pinks. So this is the seashell pink and they matched it with a natural buff, which kind of, we're going to find out. We're going to do my color first and then we'll come back. And do the deco up colors. Okay, so we'll come down here. We can move those guys. This is definitely going to require. Let me see if I can grab without knocking things over my little dryer here. I'm just drying them to give them better layers. I don't want to move the paint around, so I want it to be dry so it will be nice opaque coats. Okay. So this is the seashell paint. Oh. See, this is just chaos over here. Okay, we're going to move these. We're going to do black, white. We'll set them in a row back here. So when we come to them, so this one is next. See, and this one, this one I know is going to be interesting. Crushed coral, and they matched it digitally to white peach. So let's see how that goes. This is the Home Depot colors. Even with the lids on these honey bottles, I'm over them. This is the other one. I was like, hmm, this is definitely going to be a different. We're going to find out. So this is the Terra Tierra Cotta. And it matched to the vintage pink. So I feel like this has a little bit more rust to it than the vintage pink in the deco art. Like that probably has a lot more pink to it than it does brown tones okay so we're gonna move that guy this is a, this is the christmas red matched to the country red put this on the foil let's rinse off the brush Okay, this is the Home Depot Christmas Red. Okay. 
Do we want another? No, we're good there. Okay. And then, let's see, then it goes to the toasted terracotta, which is the persimmon. Little tiny letters. <laughs> my uh, Gage, my 15 year old, tried to show me a video the other day and he comes up to the up to my face with the phone like this. And I was like, whoa, dude, you have to back that up. I can't see that. And he starts laughing at me like, no, I'm serious. It's too close to my face. <laughs> oh, to y have young eyes. Plus his young eyes, he has better than 2020 vision. He was complaining about because he just started driving and so he was complaining about the lights and how they he was seeing them at night and i was like oh you probably have astigmatism let's go get your eyeballs checked and we got his eyeballs checked and nope he's good but he's got 15 20 vision which is better than 2020 and so now he gets to brag about having perfect vision in his eyeballs Okay, so this is um, the, the, again, back up, roasted pecan. Can I pull you guys closer so you can see these colors better? There. Okay, roasted pecan. Let's clean the brush off. This one was another one I was kind of struggling with, the yellow. This is the sunflower in deco art. The only one I could find that was close to the digital was, and that might be too bright. I might have to add white to it. Um, sunny day. And the digital one was, di it's a different, but I couldn't find it. Let me see what it was. It was... moon yellow but there was no moon yellow and i don't have moon yellow <laughs> so we're trying with the, first this is the home depot one first so i thought the one that i got at the art store is brighter and i feel like this one has a lot more white to it it's a lot lighter versus the bright Let's see, that might be enough. Okay, oh, something was still wet. Oh, there's water right there. Let's add some more roasted, roasted pecan. Give it another layer. Okay, then we have yellow orker match to the true orker it's off the brush Definitely need a couple coats of this one. There's even a hair in there. Okay, and then my dark brown burnt umber. So this is the Home Depot dark brown. Don't knock it over.
Okay. Then we go with the greens or the blues. I just put them on my table in no particular order. So let's do. This is the skin tone that I use. It's the cool bisque. So like if I'm doing a gnome or something, this is the color I'll use as their base. It was just really watery. Which is interesting because they're all the same paint samples from Home Depot. That should be good for now. We'll let that dry on its own. Okay. That was cool disc. My pile's getting bigger on the floor here. Let's do the French lilac. And it was matched to the purple petal, which I can already tell the French lilac probably has more white in it. It's more pastel y. What I didn't do yesterday was take my actual bottles with me. I just used my, I brought my iPad and used Procreate to match based off of the color codes from DecoArt. The other thing about I can't get the lids back on these guys. Okay, so now let's go into the blues. This is the other one that was really hard. Let's start with dark because I feel like these blues will be easier to match. Now, keep in mind, when I started two years ago, I had all of these color matched to folk art colors. But now I'm finding, and I don't know why, I'm finding folk art harder to find locally for me. And I've been hearing that from a couple of you guys as well, that it's getting harder to find folk art. And I know you can buy the deco art on their website. You can buy it at Michael's. You can buy it almost every craft store there is. So this is the sky blue. Let's try that one. This one was a harder one to find too. It's almost a mixture of like a light turquoise, like a super light turquoise. And I have a whole drawer full of the different, <laughs> the different blues trying to match this one. But online, digitally, it matched well with the winter blue, which I'm in real life totally questioning. Okay, and this is the Cascade. Tons of options for blues and pinks, like tons. And yellows too. All right, let's go with the greens. So this is the forest moss. And then we have the clover truffle.
And last one is the olive green. I ordered an apron, guys. <laughs> I'm in my good clothes because we're going to go see the chosen and try not to get paint everywhere. At least in my clothes. I don't mind my hands. All of it's going to need to be dried too. Okay, ready? Let's match them. See if we got it right digitally. I know that some of them are not right. I it's looking at them in person. I know they're not right. That's my vice. The blue raz bangs. They're getting hard to find too. I was like, what are you guys in? In cohorts with folk art, you guys are hiding all my favorite stuff. All right, black is black. Let's pull off the lid, grab some out. Here's black. Put my cup back over here. That actually might need some. Let's dry that. Maybe not. How does that look? Oh yeah. Let's leave it. Okay, so there's black. Here's warm white. I think I already have one that's open too. Yes. I have lots of warm white. So far, so good, right? These two match pretty well. Now, let's do... Let put these guys away. This one just caught my eyeball. Wisteria. Wisteria might look better than the... purple petal but I was trusting what they were saying matching up color so because I matched them by this the color code the digital color codes like the CMYKs and do I have an open one of these this is light mocha I do Okay, and this is supposed to match the vintage white. Nope. More gray. The vintage white has more gray. Do you see that? Zoom you in. That's as close as you can get. You see the different this is more gray. This is the Home Depot vintage white versus the light. Stuck my finger in it. I'm looking at the camera <laughs> versus the light mocha. So you could mix. You could probably mix a little bit of like uh, a super light gray, like the little gray sky I have in my drawer. That might that might mix a little bit to make that match there. Let's do the slate gray to the sand gray. Do I have a sand gray? No. I have two slate grays in here, but they're not the same. Let's see how that goes. I feel like... Look at that, guys. Look at that compared to that. So that's the slate gray and deco art, and that's the sand gray. And the sand gray was the one that matched to the CMYK code colors online. But I felt like the slate gray... Even that one. 
Let's try the slate gray, because that's gray sky. I'm going to try the slate gray, because that sand gray just doesn't... There it is. It's totally not even going to matter. Like, it's more, it's more white. Definitely not going to match. So we'll move this guy over here. We'll wipe this guy off. And let's try, this is the slate gray instead. It's a little bit better. You see that? It has more of like blue tones to it. At least while it's wet, turn that heater down. Now like the whole right side of me is nice and toasty. <laughs> Yeah, see, this has got more blue in it. Let's leave that. I think that's good. Um, let's see. And then this was the seashell. Looking, looking. Yep, seashell pink. That that was the seashell. Sea. Tongue twister. Seashell pink. And digitally, they matched it to natural buff, which I actually think I have. Yep, I have an open one in here. Yeah, nope, this is definitely a natural buff. Cords getting in the way. So that would be, well, let's see what else I got in here. A baby blush or a baby pink? means that white peach is definitely not going to match either so that's baby blush and this is baby pink i almost want to say they're exactly the same let's try oh Let's try the baby blush. Yeah, that's the baby blush. Let's put it right here. And then we'll do the baby pink. A vintage, a vintage rose. I almost feel like, oh, I already had a vintage pink. No. Okay, so this is the baby blush. I'm gonna knock over all my colors over there because of cords. And then we can put next to this the baby blush. No, sorry, we just put the baby blush down. Let's try the baby pink. Oh, are they the same? <laughs> Did I pull this? Look at that. See, they look different, but they're the same. So reality is that's what it is. Baby blush. And then the I keep pulling open the bottom one. I thought I had a different one, but I guess I didn't. That's the labels. The labels are different, so it made it look different. All right, guys. That would have been the baby blush. What might be the best match? This is a little bit more dusty. And this, maybe if you mix these two together, they might be okay. Let's try what they matched for. <laughs> and this is, this, this is the crushed coral. Let me look. Yes. That's the crushed coral and they matched it to white 
each. Which, no. Not even a little bit. I think this might go better with the um, terracotta, which they matched to the vintage pink. That's way too bright. So I'm gonna say that is not even not even close. Let's see what we got in the drawer. Melon? Mm, no. Oh, I just broke a nail right in half. Um coral blush? No. It's gonna be the vintage pink. I feel like that one's gonna be your best match. Let's try it. Because they matched it to the terracotta. So let's try it. I actually have an open one in here. Where'd it go? Right here. So, vintage. I keep opening that one. I'm going to tape that one shut. Okay. Vintage pink. To They match to the color code, the online color code to terracotta. Which goes better with this one, but it still doesn't match that one. And it definitely doesn't match the terracotta. So that's a no on that one. We'll put our nose over here. White peach and vintage pink do not match crushed coral and terracotta. Let's see how well the red is. Top one. I have a country red open. Mm. The Christmas red from Home Depot, I think, has more brown in it. This is really bright. Country red. Look at that. It's a lot more bright. My broken nails in my way. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's do the permis permission. Perm permission. Okay. It's not coming out of my mouth now. That lit up. Well, I um, almost hope I don't have that one open. No. Okay. So I spiced. Oh. All right. Maybe. Put it over here. It's going to get close. Ooh. Is this one really opaque? It's close. It's a little bit more orange. This has a little bit more burnt orange. More browns. Maybe spiced pumpkin. No. Warm sunset might work. Oh no, that's way too bright. You see that? That's warm sunset. Uh, here's spiced pumpkin. That one might work a little bit better. Let's see what that looks like. Mm, I almost like the other one better. Okay. 
let's do the brown, which is the roasted pecan, to the light cinnamon. Uh, look at that. Shake that sucker up some more. And that there it goes. That guy just does not want to shake. I need like what they have at the store. They can shake the cans a little bit, I guess. I'll try it. It's a little bit darker. One has like more orange in it than this one now this is the question is this yellow that was the sunflower and i have banana cream and sunny day between my two picks let's try the banana cream first actually because that sunny day just looks really really bright see that that's a little bit bright too so this is the banana cream So bright. Okay, that's the banana cream. And this is the sunny day, sunny day. <laughs> okay guys, this one's even brighter. It's almost like a neon. I would definitely go with the banana cream over the sunny day for sure. that got it on there okay so there's our pile that we're gonna keep let's put this guy back sunny day goes in the drawer banana cream is the winner okay now this is the yellow orca and matched it to the true orca do i have one open no i don't even have one okay Oh, that one's going to be almost because, I mean, hello. Perfect match, maybe? It's going to be like our black and our white. Look at that. I would say that would be a really, really good match. So that one goes in the yes pile. Now the dark brown to the burnt umber, and I know I have burnt umber. My colors are all over. I have them rainbow coordinated. Call me weird, but whatever. Okay. This is burnt umber to the dark brown. And I'm already going to tell you that the Home Depot dark brown has more reds in it.
This looks more like a chocolate. And then we had, no, I don't have one of those, do I? No. Okay, so this is um, Cool Biss. No. See, I think this one would match better with this one than that one. What was that one? Have to go back to it. Was that white peach? Or was that natural buff? That was a natural buff, wasn't it? Because that was the baby blush. This one might match the gray better, actually. Because definitely not. That's a big hard no. Look at that. Doesn't even come close. It might match this gray more. It would match the gray more. So that's the oyster beige to go with the gray. The slate gray. And then I would do maybe let's see. This is the peach, the white peach. To the natural buff. Let's dry it. Just remember the white peach, they tried to match it to the brushed coral. Not even close, guys. And I just got water on that one. So I'm going to say the Oyster Beige matches the Home Depot to the Steel Gray. Matches that one better. I'm going to go almost with the Natural Buff on this one. I thought I had to Let me pull the open one out. No. Yep, go with the white peach. Has a little bit more pink to it. White peach. Oyster beige for the gray. I'm gonna put it on top of that guy. Okay, let's try the purples. So this is the French lilac to the purple petal. See, it has more gray. The French lilac has more gray in it. So super transparent. Yeah, definitely more gray. I do like this color better, but the French lilac has more gray in it, which might match better with the wisteria. this off there's the wisteria yep I'd go with the wisteria over the purple petal for sure that's closer purple petals pretty but if you're trying to come close to the match the color matches I would say no and then this is the navy, which I, ow, I'm pretty sure I already have an open one of the deep midnight blue. Yep. Right here. Okay. See, this one's pretty, pretty close. And that 
that one, the, the Home Depot one, which I color match to folk arts, is what I painted my house. <laughs> so if you ever see my house in a picture, it's this color. Okay, now these are the other ones that I'm absolutely sure are not going to match. This, they color matched. I it, it was something different, but I don't think I, I found it. Let me look it up again. So there's CMYK colors matched it. Oh, they matched it to the blue mist, which I don't think the store I went to had. So I kind of guessed and picked the winter blue. And you can already tell what's not. But the winter blue has more grays versus the sky blue that I normally use. Definitely has more greens, teals. So those are totally different. So that would be a no. Let's see if I've got something in here we can try. Do you want to try the sea breeze? Whispering turquoise, like the lid, but look how much more blue that is versus the sea breeze. So this one's this one is sea breeze, and this one is the whispering turquoise. You can try them both. So whispering turquoise. I almost knocked open over open pink bottle. So that's the whispering turquoise. Eh, it's too blue. And this is going to be too green. This one is the sea breeze. So you can take your pick from them. Sea Breeze, Whispering Turquoise, Winter Blue, and this is my Sky Blue. If I were to pick, oh, I might mix these two, maybe. Hmm. Try it. Tell me how it goes. But those are the three. And I didn't have the color that they matched it to. This is Laguna to my Cascade. Which needs to be shook up more. Still. It's going to be like brown, huh? It's not going to shake up. Oh, I got fuzzballs on my brush. Not bad. I would definitely use it. So that's a Laguna to my Cascade. This is light avocado to what is that one? Forest moss. And I think I have an open one. Yes. Okay, so light avocado to the forest moss. That was not bad either. I would use it. This one's a little bit, the forest moss is lighter, but the light avocado will do. And then the clover ruffle to the Hauser medium. Mmm, I feel like that's too close to the avocado. Maybe not. Mm. 
Okay, maybe not. And then, so that one goes in the yes pile. This one can go in, in the yes pile. Plantation pine to the, um, to my avocado. I have an open one. If you want to pull that out. So this is plantation pine. Not bad. Plantation pine's a, a lot more brighter. Let's see what else I have in here. I don't think I would have anything in here that would match. That one's got too much blue in it. So that I would go, I mean, I would go with it. Totally would. It would probably believe, probably work. So the only ones would be this seashell pink. And I, I would go with that. That's the baby blush. Is that what we picked? I think I put it away. My nose is itchy. Okay. So the um, seashell pink to the baby blush. This guy is what we're struggling with. And this one here. So these two pinks. And that is the... Let me pull them up. So crushed coral and the terracotta. So those two we need to match still. And then this blue, the sky blue, has been really hard. But everything else, I wouldn't use that. That's what they, they oyster beige to... The natural buff, or I'm sorry, to the, um, or the love. Cool bisque. That's what it was. The cool bisque. I would use the peach, white peach over the net, over the oyster and the oyster beige. I would use for, that was the vintage white. Yeah. So I would use the oyster beige for the vintage white. This one, I would use the wisteria over the purple petal. But other than that, on the yellow, so that's where we stand as far as the color matches with the Deco Art Americana colors. I'll keep looking for the sky blue because somewhere along the line there has to be a match for that. We might have to end up mixing colors to come up with that one. And then these two. The cool, I mean, terracotta and the crushed coral are the other ones. It's like a dusty rose almost. I wonder if I can find something like that for this one. And I feel like this one would be more of a vintage, but obviously those two do not match. So those are what I've got so far to match my Home Depot colors to the Deco Art American colors because that, I'm hearing that's easier to find for everybody versus the um what did i do with my rag versus the folk art colors and i don't know why and i don't have answers for it but that's where we stand as of right now doing the different colors for what i use so if you have questions let me know until then i'm gonna keep hunting for this sky blue and see if we can match one um if you guys have ones that you want me to try Shout them out in the comments and I'll go find them and we'll we'll try it and see if it matches. So I'm on the hunt for sky blue. I'm on the hunt for terracotta and I'm on the hunt for crushed coral. So those are the three. But the other ones, I mean, I, this one doesn't match so much, but I'm OK with this brown versus this brown. So I'd be OK with that. So those are what I've got right now, guys. Let me know if you want have some colors that you want me to try to match to the ones that we're searching. So, OK, talk to you soon.